My name is Louise Martin Ching. My name is Matthew Wenger. And we are the John Oxley Fellows for 2019. So our project is called Designs, Details and Devils, a visual history of the Queensland Government Printing Office, which really tells the history of Queensland from the beginnings of the colony in the 1840s all the way through until it was closed down in 2013. We were struck by the sheer diversity and depth of the work done by the printing office over a century and a half. So it's a printed history of Queensland in a lot, in a lot of ways. And the, and the State Library is the natural home of that work. One of the most beautiful things in the library is a thing that they printed about themselves. And it's a photo album that shows all of the different departments within the office in the 1920s as a presentation to the incoming governor, Nathan. There's a lot of everyday objects that most people would still have in their homes, not realising they were even printed by the government printing office, and they include train tickets and um, tourism brochures, you know, the way that Queensland is promoted to Queenslanders, but also the rest of the world, and some of those are very beautiful. And they printed things like the um, protectors reports of about, which relate to the Aboriginal history of Queensland. And they're really, really important documents because they counted population, they photographed people, they looked at the Aboriginals in their own areas and they, of course, tell the story of the missions which changed the lives of Aboriginal people in Queensland forever. In the late 1980s, it was changed to become GoPrint and it was put on a more commercial footing and in the 2000s it was finally closed. All of the government printing work was contracted out to commercial printers because it wasn't seen as financially viable for the government to have its own printing office anymore. Really part of privatisation of government but also maybe decision taken in ignorance of the fact that it had been such a central part of the Queensland's history and the work that it did had been so important really since the beginning.